again, everybody. I'm still here with Professor Wass, and we're now going on to uh, one of the last subjects of, of our uh, series of videos. Uh, but today we're talking about arginine vasopressin deficiency, um, or as you would commonly know it up to now, diabetes insipidus, but we're moving away from the name to avoid confusion. And if you look at the previous videos, you'll see the reasons why. And we're now going to talk about hospitalisation and emergency use and the considerations that you might need to have in place and also advise your loved ones to ensure that they're familiar with if you do land up in the unfortunate position of being hospitalised or having to have emergency care. And obviously in light of COVID-19 at the moment, um, it's important that you think about that through that lens as well, because it, if you're having shortness of breath or on a ventilator, your levels of hydration will definitely be impacted and therefore there are risks specific to um, AVPD patients that are specific and need to be considered and supported by an endocrinological team. So um, I'm going to pass over to Professor Woss now to give more details around the advice that he would provide to all of his patients. Thank you, Professor Woss. Thank you, Debbie. Well, just remember when you go into hospital that you will know much more about arginine vasopressin deficiency than the people looking after you. And this is absolutely key that you do know, and if you're not very well, you take in a relative who does, about your arginine vasopressin deficiency. Because a lot of times uh, the medical people will confuse uh, diabetes insipidus with diabetes mellitus. And that's why we're calling it, as I said in an earlier recording, uh, arginine vasopressin deficiency, so that there will be some confusion amongst the medical and nursing staff about what's wrong with you. And this can cause all sorts of problems in terms of drug administration and so on. So you need or your relative needs to be very clear what drugs you're taking uh, and when you're taking them. And it's very important also, of course, that they're not omitted. Uh, and those are some of the issues which are really important in terms of you going into hospital. The second thing that's really important is that you should have uh, access to an endocrinologist, a hormone specialist, uh, because in the past we've heard of people who've come into hospital and not been seen by an endocrinologist, and it's those patients who actually can get into serious trouble with their sodium and various other aspects of their blood. And so what can happen is if you take too much DDAVP, uh, you can get hyponatremia and low sodium. And if you don't take enough, you can actually become very dehydrated and your blood becomes very concentrated and you become hypernatremic. And the normal value is between 135 and 145. And I've seen and heard of patients who've gone up to 160 with their sodium and they can become, that means that they're very, very seriously dehydrated. And so amongst other things, these are the things that need to be tested. You need a sodium test, you need your osmolality test, which is the concentration of the blood. Uh, you need to have your uh, uh, sodium and monitored, uh, and that's important too, because if you come into hospital, uh, things can change quite quickly, uh, and you need to have it monitored every six hours or so if it's abnormal to begin with, and every 12 hours if it's not. The other thing we can do is use intravenous fluids uh, and uh, those can be done but they need to be done very cautiously uh, and monitored very carefully. Uh, and when you're in hospital uh, it's very important that you or your relatives are very clear what medication you should be having and make sure that it's not withheld. Uh, and you need to make sure that the endocrinologist is aware of your condition and medical history because that's important too. Uh, and it really is essential because, as I say, and I'd like to emphasise this once more, it's really important that an endocrinologist comes uh, and sees you if you come into hospital with your a AVP deficiency, arginine vasopressin deficiency. Now, the next thing and the last thing I want to talk about in this part of the programme is actually if you go in with COVID, uh, because if you're very unwell with COVID, you can get respiratory problems. And as we all know, you can actually uh, need to be ventilated. 
Uh, and that means that when you're being ventilated, you're losing a lot more fluid. Uh, and again, when you're being ventilated or when you're seriously ill, you need very careful monitoring by the intensive care people or by an endocrinologist or both, uh, so that the sodium balance and the osmolality balance is maintained uh, so that uh, you can remain as healthy as possible in those circumstances.